What's up Dragon Nation, I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to Valheim. Last episode we went into the Black Forest to try to get ourselves some bronze. And now what we want to do in this episode is I need to start building. I need to get myself a house, I need to get defenses. I, I got hit by a couple mobs and realized I really need something to protect me while I'm doing other stuff. Especially in my main base. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start building. First things first, I need to get the foundation set up. I got to do some digging. I want to try to build a basement for the house that I'm about to build, but we'll see how that all goes. Let's get this started. doing just hanging out over here come here holy shit <laughs> knocked him all the way over there that was kind of awesome i love this uh this mace man it, it's like a baseball bat anytime i hit something it just knocks it across the map it's awesome uh anyways so as you can see i did mark some stuff out i got myself uh a round little wall this is where i'm going to go ahead and put up the defenses uh, right now the only thing that I have is let's go to building right now all I have is these wooden walls stake walls uh, the best events that I have at the moment hopefully later on we'll be able to get into stone but for right now that's what I got that's why I went ahead and marked out this perimeter so I could go ahead and get some stuff flattened out uh, it took me quite some time to flatten this out a little bit it was, uh, there was like a little mountain here, a little hill. So I had to do a lot of digging and also had to get a bunch of wood, which, yeah, I have it sitting over here in this pile. Also, the stone that I picked up, and we picked up a lot of it. Uh, one of the cool things that happened was I knocked down one tree, and it was like a domino effect. It knocked down all the trees that were over here, so there's a bunch still sitting here because I haven't harvested them yet. But yeah, I, all these were knocked down just because I knocked down one tree. It was actually kind of cool. It was awesome. Uh, but anyway, so first thing we need to do is probably go ahead and get the wall set up. So that way I can have some defense while I'm trying to work on this section right here. This is where the house is going to be. First thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and try to make a basement. Uh, in the live streams that we were doing, I kind of figured out that having a basement is a good idea because later on we need to build fermenters so we can make some potions. And the fermenter does require roofing. You can't just put it out in the open somewhere and hope that it works. So yeah, I guess we're gonna see, let me see, how much wood do I have? I only got 40. Let me go ahead and empty out real quick. Get rid of the uh, stone that I have. Oops, let's get rid of that. Oh, no, I'm full. <laughs> I've also been getting a lot of food as well. Hold on. So what I did was I built this house over here so that way I had everything that I needed to get some of this building done. And yeah, it's not a bad little house. It's pretty much the exact same size as the house we built down by the water. And I was able to cram everything in here that I needed. The only issue is Right now the fire keeps going out. The reason for that is the smoke from the fire kinda just billows. It has nowhere to go really, even though I have a chimney that has plenty of openings. But the smoke doesn't work like that because it's getting stuck by the ceiling. But of course you need the ceiling to keep the fire dry. And so the smoke does kinda billow out and smother the fire. I actually kind of like that they have that mechanic. It's kind of cool. It's a pain in the ass, but it's kind of cool. So, 
yeah, every once in a while, it will go out until the smoke clears. All right, so I wonder how much how much this is going to take. I'm hoping that I did get enough wood, but I'm not. Oh, am I too heavy? Yep, I got too much on me. That's all right. We got enough to go ahead and get started. I'm hoping that I have enough uh, wood in that pile to do everything I want to do. Uh, but yeah, first, get up some defenses. Let's see if how the snap works. Try to rotate it. So the way I set this up... Oh, it is going to snap all the way to the ground. Cool. Oh, that one did not. I get you... How about if I try to snap you? Nope, that's not going to work. There it is. Yeah, what I got to do is I got to go all the way around trying to put these walls up. Give me a little bit of defense when I do get a mob that attacks me. A uh, little, I think they're called raids in this game. It, they're they're kind of annoying because I get attacked by like 20 creatures at one time. And they're kind of difficult to deal with. And these guys like to show up as well. Uh, one thing I don't want to happen is I don't want to start digging out the basement that's going to be right here And then all of a sudden the creatures start to fall in That's uh, the main reason why I want to go ahead and get the wall set up real quick So let me go ahead and do that. It's going to take me a few minutes and once I do we'll be right back All right, so I got the walls up. I got rid of the wood that was uh, giving me the area. And I mean, it's not the biggest area, but it is going to be enough to start out with. So the thing I decided to go ahead and do is at some point I am going to have to build more bases throughout the map. At least right here, right by where the uh, spawn point is, where we need to put the heads for the bosses. Uh, we'll have a base right here that we can teleport to quickly and easily. Also gather resources that we are going to need and stuff like that. Uh, next thing I'm going to need, I need a, I need a gate. Let's see if these actually snap. I'm kind of curious to see if they do. If they snap to these walls. Oh, it does. Awesome. All right, let's turn this one around like that. All right, it's not the best looking thing, but at some point I'll go ahead and dress this up. Try to make it look a little bit better. But for right now, this should work. All right, now comes the fun part. Oh, I hate this shit. I need to make a basement, which means I'm going to have to dig down. One thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to figure out how deep I need to dig down. So uh, I got into the point in the live stream where I know how thick the stone floors are. The, stick floor, uh, the uh, stone floors are about a meter thick. So they're as thick as the uh, small wood poles which I start my foundations out with so what I need to do is I need to make sure that I have enough headroom in the basement I also need to make sure that I still have uh, structure to be able to put the floor in the basement as well once we do get to the stone for right now it's all gonna have to be wood but I also want to try to make sure that when I'm digging I get the line even with uh, the foundation of the building or the house that we're about to build if it comes out too far It might look dumb. I'll have to figure out figure out a way to cover that all up But yeah, this is gonna take a while also at some point I am gonna have to get back up and down to repair tools So I'm gonna have to build probably just some stairs real quick or ladders just so we can get up so I'm thinking we did find out that we need at least three meters head clearance so that way the camera doesn't freak out too much. Three meters is a two meter pole and a one meter pole. And then below that will be the floor, above that will be the ceiling. Now because of the one meter thickness of the stone foundations, which all this is going to be once I get to stone, I need to be, the ceiling is going to be at the bottom of that one meter pole right there. So I need to dig down another three meters for the wall and then another one meter that pole right there For the stone flooring. I mean it can be a little bit less. It could be like half a meter but It's gonna be important to try to get this at the right height, which is gonna take a little bit of work So let's see what happens. Let me try to dig down 
Now, I was planning on doing this over by uh, the beach that we were building at, but then I realized the water level carries over to the ground. So if you dig down to a certain level, you will encounter water. And there's no way of getting rid of it. So I was kind of stuck. All right, this might be a decent start. The issue is now I can't see the wall. Oh yeah, uh, I need to, hold on. Uh, one thing I did find out when you're trying to dig through uh, like a cliff like this, if you're really close up to it, it lifts up your character a little bit and then you can build a ramp. So if you don't want to build a ramp, you kind of have to back off a little bit. And then you're able to build level. I guess that wasn't correct. Let's try this again. All right, let me back up. Nope, too far away. Just a matter of figuring out where you need to stand. So that way it doesn't keep trying to build up a ramp and it doesn't go deeper than you want it. So it looks like... Oh, nope, that was too far. All right, that looks, that looks right. Maybe. Nope, too far again. At some point, I will go ahead and try to level this out after we're done. But the issue is now, I can't see the wall. There it is. Uh, also, the digging, I need to see if I can get it to line up with the house, which might be a little bit difficult. Let me go ahead and try to build a ramp a little bit so we can see where we're at. So about right here is where I need to go. So I need to go straight that way. So yeah, it is going to take a little bit of work. Ooh, shit, a little too far. God damn it, already. Uh, it is going to take a little bit of work. If it doesn't work out, what I could do is I could take my hoe, which I have number seven, and we can go ahead and raise, uh, let's say here, because I did go out too far. Okay, that's, is that going to work? It's, oh, I need stone. My bad. Let me grab a little bit of stone real quick. Yeah, I don't know how well this is going to work out. I might have to change things up a little bit. But the biggest... I don't need wood. I need stone. What am I doing? Did I grab it? No, I didn't. I'm full. All right, hold on. Let me go ahead and get rid of some of this wood real quick. And now we can go ahead and grab the stone. Uh, so I don't know if I'll be able to actually go all the way to the end of the wall right here I might have to go in just a little bit further it, It's gonna take a little bit of work because I'm gonna try to get it as perfect as possible and My OCD is not gonna let me just say oh, that's good enough It's gonna be a pain in the ass. I already know it But yeah kind of like that so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and dig this all out and then we'll try to flatten it out it looks like the voxel for the ground doesn't actually go in line with the uh, the foundation of the house. It kind of goes diagonal to it. So, yeah, I might not be able to get flat floors or flat walls. We'll have to see how that all works out. Let me go ahead and do a little bit of work and we'll see what we can get. All right, so I finally got this dug down, but there is one thing we need to check up on. Uh, there were a few issues. One, I'm starting to learn whenever you're digging down into the ground, you have to follow a certain route. If you try to deviate from that route, you get shit like this. So at some point, I am going to have uh, a little gaps around the entire house because of the way this works. Uh, so I'm gonna have to figure something out to uh, cover that up until we can get stone once I get stone It'll be simple as hell, but if we go ahead and dig like this As you can see now I am starting to get a straight line actually let me go deeper so you can see this a little bit better but Yeah, as you can see right now we're getting a straight line where everything is digging but because we're trying to deviate because the line goes that way uh, now that we're trying to deviate, I'm starting to get these little bridges that are making some of the stuff a little bit deeper than they should be. So that's going to be an issue. But now at least I got it deep enough to where we can figure out how deep this whole thing needs to be. I hope it's not any higher than this because I got a spot right here that just won't go down any further. And I've noticed that in our uh, live stream world, you get that a lot. 
Uh, sometimes you can log out, log back in, and it'll let you dig down deeper. But yeah, this will not let me go. But yeah, it's just right here in this corner. It just won't go down. Yeah, I'll have to see if I can figure that out. All right, so we need to figure out how deep this thing needs to be. And if I do have it deep enough. So, let me see if I can do it this way. Uh, let's get out this. All right, so the, as I was saying before, the stone foundations are as thick as one of those one meter poles. So the bottom, can I not snap you, really? All right, let's do this. So the bottom of the stone foundations is gonna to go to right there. What I need is I need a three meter clearance for the ceiling so that way the camera doesn't bug out too much. So right there we have two meters and then halfway would be the three meters. So the top of the floor, get you, can I get you in please? <laughs> I can't get you in. Come here, let's go down a little bit so I can try to get to that snap point. There it is. Uh, so the floor will go down to about here. Let's actually put it over here. So then this line right here will be the uh, bottom of the stone foundations. And this will be the floor. Right like that. That will be the floor of our basement. So it looks like if I go all the way across, this floor might be okay. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be okay. So what I need to do now is I need to raise all this back up, which is gonna be easy because I've got a shit ton of stone sitting here. I need to raise this up to about halfway right there, which I'm hoping isn't gonna to be too difficult. Let me see if we can do that. So we'll get out our hoe, make sure we're doing raise. See if I could get it right there that right there that would be perfect so what i need to do now is i need to go ahead and raise this entire thing yeah i dug too deep i just wanted to make sure it was deep enough but yeah if i can raise everything to be this height right here we will be perfect it's going to take me a little bit of time uh it's probably going to take me a couple hours to be honest but yeah let me go ahead and get that done when we come back we can go ahead and start building out the basement all right, now that I got everything built, everything repaired, here we are. This is going to be the basement. Uh, probably not the best looking thing, but I think it should be okay. Next thing we need to figure out is uh, at some point when I do get the stone uh, foundations put in, we are going to need some supports. This is not going to hold up. So what I need to do is I need to figure out where those supports are going to go. I need to make sure. Oh shit, can I not snap you? Really? God damn it. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. Uh, so the supports are gonna be very important to hold up the floor. Also the rest of the house as well. So, huh, I'm kind of wondering where the best place to be. Probably like right here. Like every two foundations. So all we need to do is go along this line right here. That should be enough to hold up the uh, stone foundations. Now, one thing I did figure out uh, in our live streams is you can have a foundation. The stone foundations come out one block like that. Am I out of wood? God damn it. It's always the same thing. Yeah, look at this gap. Ah, oh, that looks like shit. But I do have an idea to try to fix that and make it look decent. We'll go over that when I start building the house. But I will try to clean it up a little bit on my own and see if I can do that. But yeah, like I said, one thing I did figure out with the uh, stone foundations is you can come out one foundation piece like that, but if you try to build another one, the stone will actually crumble. So this one will just fall. So if I put a pillar right here, it will actually hold up that foundation. So yeah, a little bit of work. I gotta figure that out. I hope it works, man. I really do because I don't want this whole thing to fall. If it does, then I'll just have to add more pillars. But yeah, the first thing I need to do is try to get these foundations in here so we can put those up. Let me see if this is going to work. It might not. 
then I should be able to snap. No, snap underneath. God damn you. A little prick. Get underneath there. No, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I might have to dig a little bit deeper so that way I can get to the snap point. But that's not too bad. I mean, I just have to dig down a little bit. Let me see. Now I should be able to snap it. There it is. So yeah, if I put... Okay, I have to dig that one down deeper. Oh, that sucks. Then I could go ahead and raise it after I get the foundations in. Or after I get these pillars in, so that way I can put pillars going up higher. Probably over here. Like that. Going up all the way to the ceiling, which is going to be that height. Uh, next thing I need to worry about is here pretty soon, we're only going to have wood. So we're going to have a wood ceiling here, and then the flooring for the first floor is going to be there. We're going to have a gap in between, so I need to kind of hide that a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put in these cross beams uh, to... Come on, snap point. Shit. Uh, put in those uh, cross beams all the way around to kind of try to hide that opening. And then, like I said, some t at some point on my own, I'll try to clean these edges up a little bit. But I do have an idea to try to cover those up. But we'll have to see how that works. So let me go ahead and get all this done, and then we'll go over the next thing. Alright, so we have one more part to do. What I need to do is I need to make some support beams that go across the uh, ceiling. Which is actually pretty cool because I can't do it on the floor up there. This is just... Uh, so that way we have a place to go ahead and add the supports to strengthen. Uh, strengthen the floor when we do put it up. So all I have to do is go all the way across every single beam and go ahead... Oh no, down here. My bad. <laughs> Not up there. That's the floor. I don't want the beam showing through the floor. So yeah, just like this. And then what I'll do with these beams is I'll go all the way across and that will still give us our headroom and then we will have a finished basement as soon as I put up these walls. Like that. Oh, and this one's going to have to be the half. So yeah, just like that. So I'm going to have a whole lot of work to do on my own and of course right now it's getting dark. So it's going to take me a little bit of time to get that. I also went ahead and checked to yeah you guys can't see it very well let me go ahead and sleep get daylight so we can see what the hell's going on so i did a little bit of uh trying to level things out see if i could close up those gaps a little bit and i was able to so next episode when we start building the frame for the house i think i can find a way of closing those holes off just a little bit all right it's still a little bit dark but we're gonna have to wait <laughs> so yeah right here I actually was able to get the hole to be a little bit smaller which is perfect that will allow me to figure something out to cover that all up might actually work out pretty damn well uh, for right now what I'm gonna have to do waiting for the light to show up is just take some of this wood floor string it across and that will close it up just a little bit later on when we get stone uh, there is uh, stone stairs, which will actually help me cover that up just a little bit better. But for right now, that's about the best that I can do. Uh, so next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try to set up the uh, framing for the first floor. It's going to be a lot of work, and it's going to take a lot of wood. I still have a bunch over here, but I don't think I don't think it's going to be enough to finish off the entire building. But we'll have to see you in the next episode. Until then, make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.